Hi there. Hi, I'm Cindy. The only way I believe I'm pretty is if strangers have sex with me. Well, maybe I could help fill you up with self-confidence. Stranger, so you can pretty much fill the tray and create a world. Come have sex with me. My mother will make you fark shakush when we are done. Okay. Wait! I have a time machine. You do? Time machine room. I, I don't know. My decorator's terrible. One. How's that? He doesn't have to sit through the rest of the show. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, I'd like to return. So that's what restaurants were like before desegregation. It was quiet. It was quiet. Does machine have a sticker that says property of Stewie Griffin? Uh, well, I... I... <sighs> all right, to be completely honest, and because we've already had sex, it's not mine. I use it all the time, and the owner has no idea. In fact, he'd kill me if he knew. Oh! Look, it's no big deal. Just reverse it and take off the miles. That's what I do when I take my dad's car out. Are you... are you 16? I will be next September. Well, I think so. Ryan, what the hell are you doing in here? What's happening to my time machine? I, I don't know, man. I, I saw Meg leaving a minute ago going, ha 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 but I, I don't know. What happened? I don't know. She was a real prize. How are you enjoying your meal? L L L Lois, it's d d d delicious. Oh, for crying out loud. Peter, why are you turning up the heat again? Lois, this woman is obviously freezing. Brian, I want you to tell me... Dear God, everything's moving backward. What? What are you talking about? I don't know what the hell you did with all your messing around, Brian. But somehow, my machine seems to have reversed the direction of time. Stewie, you can't just change the direction of time. How, how is this even possible? Well, clearly, when you attempted to reverse the gauge on my time machine, you somehow released a quantum shockwave powerful enough to push the flow of time in the opposite direction. I can only surmise that you and I were isolated from its effects. Heidi Klum broke up with Seal. Faith. There, now you got a fresh new diaper, Stewie. What are you talking about? What's going on? I think you're getting a diaper change. Passed out drunk. Does no one in this house have any dignity? Hey, Lois, I'm home from the clam and I'm horny. My God, it's, it's extraordinary. They all seem to be completely unaware that anything is amiss. What are you doing staring in Quagmire's window? Man, watching sex in reverse is just bizarre. My God, look at all this devastation. What the hell happened? You know, that chicken's kid is in my preschool class. I don't really want to be friends with him, but he knows a lot of chicks. And backwards rim shot. Related question. Global warming is a myth! God created everything and the world is getting colder! What is your tax plan? Well, that's odd. What? Man, we got a large number of clothes. So, what does that mean? Well, it suggests that time may not simply be flowing backwards. It may, in fact, be accelerating. Accelerating? Why would that be happening? I'm not sure. 
Have you ever heard of a phenomenon called time dilation, Brian? Sure. No, you haven't. Time dilation in forward time. That's weird. You're doing reverse cutaways now? What the hell is... Ah! What? What's the matter? Dear God, I'm unteething! Brian, it appears the flow of reverse time is beginning to affect us as well! well what is that? A song to end. Yankee Doodle went to town. Now I know my ABCs. What the devil is that? It's Peter and Chris. Sounds like they're in trouble. Dad, I'm scared. Oh, God, this is so disgusting. I think I'm going to puke. <laughs> Stewie, you're not that much older than Susie. Brian, if we don't find a way to push time forward again soon, I too shall be unborn. I'm not quite sure, but trust me, I can feel myself getting younger. All right, the machine has been repaired. Now all I've got to do is isolate the cause of the acceleration curve and see if I can duplicate the shockwave. Gah! What's the matter? I've regressed. Cute. Oh my god, we're getting closer to the beginning! You're Lacey Chabert! Oh boy, a baby! I saw my Spanish teacher leave one of you in a trash can! It's up to you! You've got to restore the flow of time! My life depends on it! What, Stewie? I don't know how to fix that machine! Trust me, you can do it! You're so talented in so many ways! Like what? I can't hear! Boy, I am late for that meeting. Come on, math, you dick. Oh, he's perfect. Time of birth, 11.34 a.m. Come on, Brian, hurry! <laughs> it's a girl with a penis and no vagina. Turn the gauge backward. Maybe if I turn it in the other direction... Brian, there you are. Where have you been? Meg, where's Stewie? Stewie? Who's Stewie? Here it comes. Push, Mrs. Griffin. <laughs> Drink or treat! Chris, what in God's name are you doing? You, you can't go out dressed like that. Why not? I'm Bill Cosby. Uh, okay. Well Peter, what's with all the eggs? Oh, well, every Halloween, me, Joe, and Quagmire do this thing where one of us is it, and then the other two of us nail a crap. Guys, guys, be careful. This isn't my box. Oh, yeah, sure. And whose is it? It's mine. I'm Dick Pump, and I'd appreciate it if you hooligan... We're that waitress from Friendly's! I lied! You jerk! I didn't feel anything, but you did! Happy Halloween, Hey, hey, get away! Just get away from me, Peter! Hey, take it easy, Quag. <laughs> what was that? <gasps> oh, my God! I knew this day would come. Rupert, we're under attack by monsters. Dear God! Hey, Stewie, you all set to go trick-or-treating? Whoa, what the hell are you doing? We're under attack, Brian! By zombies and vampires and a Mexican princess! Stewie, those aren't monsters. They're kids. They're trick-or-treaters. Trick-or-treaters? Yeah, it's what kids do on Halloween. They, they dress up... Okay, see you later, Mom. Oh, where are you off to, sweetie? You're gonna go see three movies in a row so it seems like you're out doing something? No, Mom. I'm going to my first... ...by a duck who hangs around with Anna Paquin and drives around in a black Mercedes. What is that? It's true blood. Yeah, no one knows what that is. Rich gay people do.
were right. Halloween is the best. Look how much candy I have. Oh, wh where should we go next? Oh, look, there's Mort's house. Oh, but I hope he doesn't have some gross Jewish candy, like like Rugelach or, or Hamantaschen or... or, or ha -ha 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 -ha. Right, 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 Brian? Brian? Art. Uh, well, no, but how about this? You can have the apple and the raisins and the cheese and crackers with a little red stick. I don't, I don't know how that's candy, but... Thanks, duck boy. <laughs> <laughs> Brian! Hey, there you are. Brian, where were you? Oh, that jerk dog from our patio door somehow got inside a hubcap. I just wanted to alert the owner of the car. I left a note on his windshield. What, what, what is wrong with you? You abandoned me! And some larger children took my candy! Ruined! <sighs> all right, all right, fine. We'll look for him. Good. Because so far, Halloween's a bigger letdown than being a Mets fan. Opening day, and here's the first pitch, and the season's over. Uh, I, I'm not sure I understand. I, I, the first one, I guess? I, I don't know. I, I, my grandfather on my mom's side was Japanese. Wait a minute, you're, you're part Japanese? Sure am. My grandfather was a pilot for the Imperial Air Force during World War II. Flew a kamikaze. I'm on duty tonight, and Halloween's got to be the worst night of the year to be a cop. All you do is drive around, confiscate beer from teenagers, and occasionally handcuff a drunk woman in a sexy costume. Ah, oh, cool! Hey, I got a great idea. How about we ride around with you and steal beer? She's here somewhere. Come on, I'll help you find her. Okay. Will Lois Griffin please come to the courtesy booth? We have a little gift for you. <laughs> uh, I'm Lois. Oh, for God's sakes, Peter. Yay, Lois! Take them off for the whole party. The boys won't know who we are, and we'll have a better chance of hooking up. Good idea! We are so gonna hook up! I think we look hot. Totally hot! Ugly bitches! No! So what's the story, Quest? Well, units, we've got a domestic disturbance at 5th and Maple. This is Officer Swanson responding. I'm on my way. All right, you guys, these domestic dispute situations can get pretty dicey, so I need you to stay in the car, okay? No joking around. All right, sir, sir. Your foot knuckles! You call that a massage with your baby carrot fingers? Go to hell! Come here! Get over here! Get your face! Get your face! Oh, they got tuckered out. Of course they did. They ran like two miles for them. Okay, there they are, Brian. And they've still got my candy. You distract them, and I'll run up from behind and grab it. Stewie, don't be ridiculous. They're kids, and I... They're on the corner. All right, terrific. Hey, hey, what are you doing? Stop it! Hey, let me go! No! No! Ah! Oh. All right, Brian, we're getting my candy back, and here's how it's going to go down. First, we track down those teenage hoodlums and kill them all! Yeah, okay, fine, let's kill them. We... Really? No way! <laughs> no, I was only half... Stop right there! <laughs> yeah, give me the paper! No! No, don't hurt me, you bastard! Mort, give me the paper! No, I'm reading it in here. You can have the real estate section. It's for schmucks anyway. Okay, slutty cat, you're up next. Oh my god, this is totally working! Nobody knows who we are! Laura Linney. Whoops. Come on, you guys. It's been well over seven minutes. Let's go. Other people want to use the closet. It was you. Well, who did you think it was? Some bitch. Who cares? Oh, oh my God. Oh, we did so much. Shut up, shut up, shut up. We're disgusting. We're a disgrace to our family. Zero. Wow, no calories and all that Japanese taste? That's the kind of plane my grandfather used to fly in the war. Cool. Man, this thing looks like it still might be in working order. Hey, it's that stupid kid. Yes, it's that stupid kid. Now listen very closely, because here's how it's going to go down. Thing to do now, go to plan B. Mom! 
I am so sorry, Mrs. Griffith. I have no idea what got into my son. Well, just have him return the candy and everything's fine. Good. Now go in your purse, take out $40 and put it in the bag. Uh, all right, all right, Lois, you're kind of scaring me now. Uh, I, I don't have $40. All right, I understand. I'll be back tomorrow for the $80. Look at all those old naval vessels. Yeah, look at them all. Whoa, whoa, easy, Quagmire. What are you doing? I don't know, Peter. It's like something just awakened inside me.